Good evening, everyone. Professor Prophet with Craps University coming to you with another episode of Building a Bankroll. This will be episode five. In this series, we'll show you strategies that will increase your bankroll and help you stay at the craps table longer and have a better experience. We began this experiment with a $1,000 bankroll, and through the first four episodes, we've built that all the way up to $1,602. This evening we're going to play for 10 to 15 minutes. Uh, generally we get six rolls per every roll at a live table. So playing 10 to 15 minutes equals approximately one hour at a live table. So the first shooter's up and ready. So let's um, get that $5 pass line bet down coming out. And there's the hard eight. We're going to go with 64 across, our normal strategy to start. I'm going to cap that six and the eight we have uh, picked up behind the pass line with our odds bet. Okay, the first number is a horn number which is yo so we're going to take down the four and ten which is part of our strategy when we hit a horn number. Next row is a nine so that's a winner and when we hit a number we take down the sister numbers and this time it's the five and nine and that leaves the six and the eight and there's another horn number now we're not going to take anything down this time because we're down to our last two numbers. And if we uh, did that, we'd repopulate, so actually we wouldn't gain anything by taking those down. So we'll leave them up and see if we can hit those. Okay, we seven out there, so down uh, a little bit on that throw, but not enough to worry about. So we're going to uh, come out here with a hard eight, and we're going to repopulate at the 64 across. Again, we'll pick up the eight with our pass line odds bet. And seven out. So that's not a good start. So nine on the come out roll, and we're going to increase our bets up to 25 on everything except the six and the eight. So it'll be 160 across. There's a hard six. So we'll take down the two outside numbers as we work our way in. There's a five, another hit. So the five and nine come down and see if we can complete it here. Seven out. So uh, lost a little more there. And there's another seven. And snake eye, so we lose that. Another horn number, midnight. And we get it back with a yo. And the easy four, so we're going to go with 160 across once again. See if we can hit a few numbers. All right, there's the easy six, so we'll take down the four and the ten. There's the hard ten, which we just took down, so that didn't work out too well for us, but it does happen. Here we hit the five, so we're going to take down the five and nine, and see if we can complete this series now. There's the eight. All right, so that was a good hit for us. We'll take those down. And we're going to reduce down to 64 across. Looks like we've got a decent shooter finally. And see if we can continue on this hot roll. All right, there's a nine, so collect that. And also take down the four and 10. Hard six, another winner. Take down the five and nine. And there's a nine, nothing there once again. And there's a seven out. So that was a better shooter. And we move on to the next shooter now. That's craps three. That's a five dollar loser. And there's the yo. Get that five dollars right back. And five is going to be our number. So let's try 64 across once again. Ten behind the pass line. And cap that six and the eight. Paying it seven to six, so be sure to get a full payout there. So fourteen dollar winner on the eight, and that's a horn number. So we're going to take down the five and the nine, and there's the hard six. So that was a good round for us. We're going to reduce down now to one unit, thirty-two across, and we're going to cap that six and the eight, and also the five since that pays at three to two. That'll Pay nine dollars if we hit it, but we didn't. That's a seven out, 
and uh, another round done and a new shooter okay easy eight so let's go with the 64 across one more time and we're ready to go okay, there's a nine so that's a $14 winner add 20 to that we take down the four and the ten and there's a horn number so we'll take down the five and the nine get that out of harm's way nothing with the five hard tens no good for us another hard tens no good for us and there's the six so that completes that uh, that round for us so we can reduce down now to one unit again and I'll cap that six and there's the hard eight that's the number so pass line bet is working odds bets are not or excuse me place bets are not and we hit the eight so we're going to take odds back behind the line on that one again and there it is one more time okay, place bets are off there's the five we'll take that down put it behind the pass line and put six up on both the five and the eight and there's the hard eight once again so we'll take down the four and ten okay, there's the uh, craps three horn number so we'll take down the five and the nine there's the nine and there's the easy six so another winner so we'll repopulate the board and here we go okay, there's a five that's the number we're looking for so place bets are off there's the eight so we'll take that down put it behind the pass line that's five up we're going to take the four and ten down since we hit that eight there's a horn number so the five and nine come down easy four hard four and there's the six all right so repopulate one more time just need five behind the pass line since the number is eight it'll play us six to five and we seven out there so rinse and repeat easy four is the number 64 across kept that six and eight and we've got the four covered with the odds bet on the pass line and there's a nine so the four and ten come down there's the hard four which is our number so that's a five dollar winner place bets are off come out roll another four and we'll continue on easy ten nothing on the ten for us easy ten once again yellow eleven and a horn number so we'll take those down the five and the nine and hit the six that's a fourteen dollar winner so uh, one unit on this one dice are out and there's a nine so we'll take down the four and the ten five hits another seven dollar winner we take down the five and the nine and there's midnight and there's the easy eight so let's repopulate it once again and here we go it craps three so we'll take down the four and ten on a horn number here's an easy six take down the five and the nine and seven out on that one so next shooter here we go okay craps two so we lose five dollars there and easy six I'm gonna try something a little different this time we're gonna just put five on the four and the ten and we'll go with a normal 10 on both the 5 and 9 and we're going to move up to 3 units on the 6 and the 8 we'll put the 6 behind the pass line take odds there and we'll have 18 on the 8 and see if we can hit a few 6's and 8's and maybe get a little better payoff here and there's an easy 8 so that's a good start take down the 4 and the 10 horn number 3 so we'll take down the 5 and the 9 there's the five and there's the six 
So we hit them all. We'll take down the eight. Come out, roll. Seven, so that's a winner. Come out again. Easy eight, so we'll go with, we're going to try, we're just going to go with one unit as we reduce down. And here we go. <coughs> a yellow 11 horn number, so the four and ten come down. There's the easy six, a winner. So the five and nine come down with a score hit. Easy 10, yo 11, and again, when we only have two numbers up, even though it's a horn number, we'll leave those numbers up, and we hit with the six. So repopulate, and here we go. Easy six, winner, take down the four and the 10 with the score hit. Easy six again, take down the five and nine with another score hit. Craps three. Perhaps three again, and there's the six. So let's repopulate it one more time. And seven out. All right, so that was another good round for us. So pass line bet down, easy four is the number. And let's um, do what we did last time and take three units on the 6 and 8 and reduce to 1 unit on the 4 and 10 and see if we can get a little better payoff here. 4 is the number. There's a 5, so that's a $14 winner. Take down the 4 and 10. Next shot is a 9, another hit, $14 winner. Take down the 5 and 9 with a score hit. And finally we hit that 6, so another good round for us. Take those down. Reduce down to one unit each. Cap the six and eight. Here we go. Okay, midnight, so horn number. We take down the four and the ten, sister numbers. There's the hard eight, so a score hit would take down the sister numbers, the five and nine. Okay, easy ten, nothing there. Little Joe, nothing there. And there's the hard eight. So let's repopulate and go again. Now, normally when I'm hitting numbers like this, um, once I've gone through the 64 across and 1 and the 32 across and 1, usually the third round, which would be another 32 across, whatever I win that round, I just give to the dealers as a tip. And that keeps them involved in the game and happy. And uh, doesn't really cost you anything other than what you would have won. <coughs> So five there, take down the five and nine. And there's the easy eight, so another winner. And let's keep this going. Easy eight, four and 10 come down. Horn number, five and nine come down. And there's the hard six. So we'll repopulate. Take that odds bit, and there's the seven out. Okay, so another good round, and we're gonna bring one more shooter up and call this session complete. There's the easy 10, so we'll put uh, one unit there, two units on the five and nine, and three units on the six and eight. And here we go. Here's the 9. Score hit, so we'll take down the 4 and 10. There's a 4, which we just took up, so we missed that one. Yo 11, a horn number, we take down the 5 and 9. And there's the hard 6. So there's another winner there. So we'll reduce down to 1 unit across the board, 32 across. Here we go. Here's the hard 10, that's the one we were looking for. So this will be a come out roll here. Place bets are off. There's the nine, and we had that score hit, so we'll take the four down, the 10's already down. And we seven out, and that'll